Alabama Department of Health reporting 29 cases of coronavirus in the state, 17 of those in Jefferson County, three each in Shelby and Tuscaloosa counties. Montgomery County has two cases with one each in Baldwin, Elmore, Lee and Limestone counties. All right, the Jefferson County Department of Health is about to start a press conference with the latest information. Let's go tracking there. down their contacts and getting them tested. We have been issuing quarantine orders to those people who have are positive or who have been in direct contact. Multiple other efforts are in motion at the health department and throughout our community to address this problem. As of four o'clock this afternoon, we are aware of, fifth, of 17 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Jefferson County. Based on our initial disease investigations, we do believe that we now have community spread within Jefferson County. This um, number 17, we are certain that it is a, a major underrepresentation of what is actually going on in our community. Uh, we, we believe there are many, many more cases that we have not detected. I want to stress the importance of us taking this very, very seriously. The numbers of cases are likely to double approximately every two days if we do not take swift and very deliberate action to try to slow the spread and stop the spread and give our public health officials, all of our partners, time to get this under control, to track down those people that have it, to get the testing done, to get more people identified, to track down all their contact, contacts and try to contain this. So in the meantime, we need to take drastic efforts to avoid contact with one another uh, contact with people that might have the disease so we can slow down the spread. To that end, and with the authority that is given to me as county health officer, we are ordering several things to happen. And I'm going to summarize those for you. Copies of these will be given to the media and posted um, so that anybody in the public can see them. Number one, effective March, Tuesday, March 17th, all gatherings of 25 persons or more or of any size that cannot maintain a consistent six foot distance between persons are prohibited until further notice. This is throughout Jefferson County. Number two, effective Tuesday, March 17th, all senior citizens center gatherings shall be closed. We are urging senior citizen centers and their partners to be sure that their clients continue to get needed meals via curbside pickup or delivery. Number three, effective Tuesday, March 17th, all nursing homes, long-term care facilities shall prohibit visitation from all visitors and non-essential personnel, except for certain compassionate care situations, such as end of life. Effective Thursday, March 19th, all of the following shall be closed until April 6th. Private schools, all grades through the 12th grade, preschools and child care centers with 12 or more children. Prior to April 6th, we will reevaluate this, and this is a timeline that is consistent with the public health, the public health, I'm sorry, the public school system. Number five, effective Tuesday, that's tomorrow, March 17th, any restaurant, bar, brewery, or establishment that offers food or drink shall not permit on-premises consumption of food or drink for one week. This order shall be reevaluated prior to the end of that week, which would be March 24th, for possible modification. Such establishments may continue to offer food for takeout or delivery uh, or curbside pickup. We are strongly encouraging all food establishments, all restaurants, 
to offer online ordering and curbside pickup. I will just add that I'm also encouraging all of you in the public to support those food establishments, either by ordering food and picking it up or buying gift cards. We want to keep them open, but not, um, as I said, no eating on those premises. One exception, hospital food service areas are excluded from this order provided they have an appropriate social distancing plan of their own. And we already know that our hospitals are addressing that. That is uh, the extent of the orders from now, but I will say that these are orders, these are legally bound, binding, and they may be enforced. Um, I know that that's, this has a big impact on our community. Uh, it's, it's quite restrictive. Uh, the 25 number has been gradually going down. You may recall that last week I recommended that it be 500. We've come a long way since then. Um, we were thinking 50 yesterday, and then we got to 25 this morning. You may know that President Trump mentioned 10 uh, just a couple of hours ago. Um, I believe, as far as I understand, that is guidance. Uh, but this is an order that's legally binding. I would also just like to add um, that because this is going to have a big impact on our community, we need to really all come together. We need an all-hands deck on a approach. We need all of our philanthropic community, our nonprofit community, uh, churches, everybody to help support one another, uh, help keep our businesses alive, help check on those who are more vulnerable. I'm asking everybody to be a good neighbor and watch out for your neighbors. Um, we can control this. We can get on top of this. We all have to work together. Uh, we are not victims here. We can make a big difference in, in the outcome of this, but we must act now.